and then you'll have this icon which was not there before. This is we're emulating this right here. You go in there and you press settings. And again, our cameras are just draped, they're not installed, just to uh, just for testing purposes. The settings will bring you the, the rear camera screen by default. Okay. To, to back up, you go back to, uh, there's a clear button up in the top corner, which is there as you can see normally. So again, settings, and then clear is up in the top corner here. Okay, so we're going to go back to the factory screen. Let's go ahead and throw it in reverse, and we should get a reverse image. There's a reverse image. Put it back in park. We'll return. Now to force cameras, you can do just as I showed you, go through the touch screen or use the video in the, uh, the, the wire trigger input. I believe it's input one or two, it's one or the other, indicated in the manual. Again, extra features, cameras, settings. And now that we're in forced camera mode, has to happen in forced camera mode, you can switch between front and rear by touching the screen in the certain, the specific places that we mapped out. So the front, you hit the top middle, and it switches to the front. Bottom middle will switch you back to the rear again. So again, front, rear, front, rear. You can hear the relay clicking in our module. And to clear, again, back out just like, just like normal.